All right, welcome back everyone. So today I will show you how to install your XP wallet on macOS. I'm currently running macOS 10.13, but it should work with whichever OS you're running with. All right, so I'll be doing everything from the terminal today, since as a Mac user, you should be able, you should know how to use a terminal. Um, so I will show you a few things at the same time. Um, if you didn't know anything about terminal. All right, so let's start by opening the terminal right here. If the terminal is not in the taskbar down below, we can just use a thing here and then type in terminal and then enter to open the terminal. All right, so first of all, what you're going to do is go to the website. So open HTTPS slash slash xpcoin.io All right, and from here you can open uh, click on wallets and macOS and download from this website And now I just have to wait for the download to finish um, And I will close the, tr the browser right now. All right Once the download is complete click on the .dmg and just wait. All right, now that it's uh, loaded, double click on execute, close this, and then don't worry me when opening application on this disk image. So it won't ask you every time to load, um, uh, when you wanna load the execute wallet. All right, now do open, and just wait for it to open. And from here, well, you can see the wallet is open and we'll do a quick overview of the wallet. Uh, so this is the recent transaction. You will see, I think it's all three, three recent transactions. Um, here you will see all the balance, stake and confirm and all that. And then send coins as it says, you enter the address you want to pay people with. Um, and then the amount of XP you want to send. Receive coins is where you get um, uh, your addresses. So you have mine here, I have second here. If you want to add a third address, you can just third address, uh, not this, but third, third. And then you have a third address over here. In transaction, you will see all the transactions that have happened on your wallet. And you can also do a uh, check by address or by label. So if you type main, you will see all the transaction made from main. In the minting tab, you will see all the minting inputs. So if you have um, one address with a lot of funds, you will only see one. And then once you stake, you should be able to see two inputs because how it works with XP is it will split uh, the balance into two inputs and then the two inputs, when one of them stakes, it will split the second, one of the two inputs into two. That means you have three inputs and so on. And then you have your address book here. Uh, you can add address, uh, new addresses and labels. So if you have, um, I don't know, Cryptopia, Cryptopia, well, you can just enter address on Cryptopia. Right now we're not listed on Cryptopia, but we're trying to. So we'll hope when the 700,000 DOT missing will are filled that we're gonna be on Cryptopia soon. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the wallet overview. Um, as you can see here, there's the synchronization tab. Um, I will show you how to sync it um, to approximately 97% in the next video. And here you can see the number of nodes active. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much what you can see on the synchronization tab right here. And that's pretty much it for today's video. And I will be back tomorrow on how to synchronize your wallet.